This is a hands-on video demo of the COYO U8S smartwatch. I've seen this watch for sale under a couple of different names, including COYO, Andreset, Geek Era, Five, uh, and a couple others. Um, this one is the COYO brand. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at it and play around with some of the apps and try and link it up to an iPhone 4 and kind of experiment and see what happens and just get a feel for the capabilities of this $30 smartwatch. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it ships in. Let's see what's inside. So when you actually open the box, the watch is right there. And it's in some kind of, this is like a foam material. And we can pull this out. And here's the watch itself. It's shrink wrapped in some plastic. Please peel off this mask after application completed. Not sure what that means, but we'll find out. Take out the foam. There's a weird false bottom. And here we have the charging cable and some kind of weird metal tool. Almost looks like a collar pin. I have no idea what this is. Smartwatch user guide. Okay, this probably has some clues inside. So let's see what this is all about. The user guide is actually kind of complicated, but it has a lot of directions on how to set this up uh, with an Android phone. Uh, there's nothing in here that really is applicable to iOS, um, which is what I'm going to be trying out today. And uh, there's a little QR code that uh, I'm assuming that leads you right to the, uh, the App Store. And it comes with the username and password, U8 for both. And some more information on what everything actually does. Microphone doesn't keep out the whole while wow calling. I have no idea what that means. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and peel the plastic off and turn it on and just kind of see what happens. So there's a plastic covering on the front. And on the back got smartwatch, in case you forgot what this thing was. That's really on there. Haha, -ha, got it. Uh, there's a reset pin, something I haven't seen on anything in a while, I guess. It actually says reset on it. Weird. Alright, let's turn it on. Ooh, it's pretty rough. All right, and it's a watch, kind of. So let's try out some of the actual applications on this and get a feel for the screen. The display itself looks not great. You can actually see the individual pixels. So this definitely, it looks like a tiny Android tablet, basically. And it's got a couple of random apps on it, including Anti-Lost that I'm now stuck in. There's a pedometer, a Bluetooth, dialer, phone book. The camera is a link camera, so you have to have an Android phone for that. So I'm not able to use that. Let's try music. Okay, so now once I'm hooked up to the phone, I should be able to use that. Altimeter. Okay. Uh, I have no idea if that's accurate or not. But I'm going to go ahead and suspect it's not. Okay. Can never have too much information. Now we're gonna go ahead and play music through the watch. I have Spotify turned on and uh, the watch and the phone are linked up. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put on some Andrew Jackson Jihad and see how it sounds. It sounds not great.
and increasing the volume didn't really help. It might be okay for, um, I don't know, I can't think of a single time I would listen to this. So the phone app doesn't actually make calls from the watch, uh, but use it as kind of a link device, and you can actually kick the call off on the watch and it'll send it over to the phone. So here we're going to test it out by calling the, uh, I'm going to try and type in some numbers here and see if I can make it readable. And I'm not sure what the enter button is. Try this. Oh, that did it. Okay, so now it's actually making the call on the phone. Thanks for calling the Apple Store Short Pump Town Center. Apple Watch is here. Find out how to And it just automatically adjusted the uh, volume. Schedule a try on appointment by visiting apple.com. Sorry, Apple Watch. Store. The camera app is another one that you can't use if you have an iPhone, um, and if you select it, it'll just say, please install smartwatch in smartphone, which, if you don't have an Android, uh, you're kind of out of luck. Still not sure what anti-lost is. You can turn it on and off here. Done. Okay, easy enough. Let's turn it on. Done. Okay, even easier. And that's really it as far as usable apps go. There's not a whole lot else. Honestly, the biggest draw of this is just the fact that it looks like an Apple Watch, and uh, it's you know it's an inexpensive link device. It might be cool for some applications if you have to start making a phone call, um, but you don't want to pull your phone out of your pocket. Uh, if you have an Android device, you can also check texts and things like that. Um, with this, that's not really an option. And if you try and check your messages, you just get that same please install smartwatch and smartphone error message. I gotta say, it's actually pretty comfortable. The band is uh, made of, it feels like just one solid piece of rubber, and it feels really similar to the band that they used on the Apple Watch. And I tried on one of the Apple Watch Sport uh, editions, and it feels really similar. It's like the same kind of material. And it has a pretty cool weight to it, and it feels a little clunky. It feels a bit like a mall fashion watch. Um, but the strap itself is actually pretty comfortable. And this is kind of the default screen. But that's not the correct... I mean, that's not the right time at all. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something interesting about this watch. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, and uh, I'll do the best I can to to help you out if you have any uh, issues with it. Uh, it is worth noting, I did eventually figure out what this thing is for. You actually use this to remove the strap. Uh, it disconnects the little pins that hold it in place, which I highly recommend against doing. The pins are tiny, and they didn't work particularly well, so when I actually peel it off, uh, when I put it in and kind of pried the strap off, it took a good five minutes to put it back on. So uh, until the strap breaks, I'd recommend against doing that. But that's about it. Like I said, go ahead and leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything like that. And uh, if not, thank you for watching and have a great day.